Right, so this is the iPassport Bluetooth uh, keypad. I'll explain why I've got it first. Um, I've already got a Bluetooth keypad, which is this Herb one, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I used this one for my Android uh, TV box. However, since getting another Android TV box, this goes in another room. So for the main TV in this room, I haven't got a Bluetooth keyboard and you need one if you've got an Android TV, TV box. So I saw this one and what it actually comes with, because uh, I've treated myself recently also to the Fire Stick. Um, so it comes with this very, very flexible case and that simply fits in like so. So that's in there. And then you get your Fire Stick remote and it's sided so it goes in the right way. And that basically pulls in over the top and that fits in there. So now in this room, I've basically got a Fire Stick holder and on the other side, I've got a, a QWERTY keyboard, which is um, extremely useful. Although I'm setting it up on the Fire Stick, Primarily, the blue the Bluetooth keypad is going to be used on the Android. And they're exactly the same. All, all Bluetooth keypads are exactly the same. But as this is advertised for the Fire Stick, I'll show you how to set it up. So if we put it there, and if I use the Fire Stick, simply go across to Settings, and then across to Controllers and Bluetooth Devices, click on that. Down to other Bluetooth devices, click on that. And then it says add Bluetooth remotes. So if we do that, right, it's searching. And then if we have a look at the keypad, you press, I'll turn it the right way up. You press the function key and the Bluetooth key at the top. And if I press those, oops, it is, first of all, I need to turn it on. And when I turn it on, when you turn it on, you'll see that there's a blue light comes on there. And then when you do the function and Bluetooth keys, press those two together, we should see that a blue light comes on on the end. There we go. Now it's flashing, so that's purring. And if we have a look at the screen, what we should see any time there, there we go. High passport Bluetooth device. So again, flick it over. Click on that, it's pairing with the device, and now it's paired, it's as simple as that. So if we go back, I can actually use the keyboard now. So if I press escape, we should go back, there we go. So you can see that it's controlling the fire stick. Right, so we're home, and I can go to, I can use the arrow keys here. So I'll go to search and if I key in something that I've been watching, which would be Eureka. Sorry, I need to come down to it first. There we go. Right, now key in Eureka. And as you can see, list everything that's uh, E-U-R-E. There's Eureka. Come down to that. Press enter. And it brings up anything to do with Eureka. And that's what I've been watching there. So does exactly what it says on the tin, but as I said, I'm primarily going to use it for the Android TV box. Uh, it'll be there to use on the Fire Stick if I don't want to use the voice control or scroll through things when you're typing anything, because as we all know, that is a complete and utter pain. So all in all, for I think I paid about £16 for this, uh, it's going to protect my remote control there, which is fantastic, because this case is very, very pliable. And it's also going to mean that I've got the um, QWERTY keyboard there to use. So that is certainly a recommendation.